Greetings and salutations, everyone. Have you ever wanted to play an MMORPG that's like Fantasy Star Online, but couldn't manage to play it due to the fact that you have a potato PC? Or maybe because the game isn't fully patched in English, you just never really wanted to play it. If the answer is yes to either of these two questions, and you're not against playing mobile MMORPGs, as this is one, then look no further, as I think I've got the MMORPG for you. The sci-fi mobile MMORPG in question is called Stella Sept Online. Now, first of all, there's not a whole lot of sci-fi MMORPGs out there, so you can imagine my surprise to finally find another one on the mobile device, no less. Now, the first thing that you should know about this game is that, well, the universe is being terrorized and is at the brink of destruction due to giant bugs. Yeah, you heard it right, really? really big ass bugs, like space bugs, and they're super ugly. Think mutated cockroaches. Ugh. Anyway, it is our duty as heroes to save the universe from these threats no matter how creepy or disgusting and just downright wrong they look. Celesip Online's character creation was quite nice going into it for both males and females, with them having plenty of hairs, faces, clothes styles, and underwear choices. It was great deciding what you want your character to wear. After you're done making your perfect character, ready to conquer, destroy, and murder all of your foes. Now you may have noticed that there were no classes in the character creation, and there's a reason for that, as there actually is no classes in the game. Instead, your playstyle is determined by your weapon choice. Said weapons are then affected by your level points. These points can be placed into the areas S, G, and M, all affecting what weapons you're more proficient at. So if you'd like to be a strong melee fighter that uses blades or glaive weapons, you would pick level S and vice versa for the other weapons that match the other letters. But that's not all. After you've picked the type of weapon you would like to use, you then have stat points. And you can freely choose your build, whether or not you want to be a fast, strong melee fighter or a reserved, defensive, long-ranged tank. The choice is ultimately yours. Stellacep truly gives you the freedom over your character's playstyle from the weapon choices, statistics, secondary weapon choices, and finally, the skills you would want to use use from the extensive skill tree. There's just so many options to choose between. Why can't we have this level of quality in normal PC MRPGs besides mainstream titles? I know not. Moving on, Stellacept Online's combat, while not unique, is still quite fluid and easy to use, especially for the mobile device, as some games can be tricky to control. The combat is basic with some added touches. So you tap on your target to begin fighting with your chosen weapon, and then you can use your skills in combo to gain greater effects, making the simplistic combat a lot more fulfilling and generally fun. Then there's the graphics for Stellacept, and it is great for the mobile device. The same thing goes for the scenery as it's got gorgeous sci-fi areas and monsters. I mean, just look at this jellyfish magic car. Or at least that's what my boyfriend thinks it looks like. But uh, don't mind him, he's just as blind as me. Or just take a look at this fantastic half-demon angel who's, you know, somewhat naked. I almost feel like I should censor her. Almost. Then there's that one random naked dude chilling next to a lava fall. Yes, Stellasem has beautiful regions, and I have merely began to explore them. These lands are full of monsters and death as well, so definitely be careful. Either way, this game was a ton of fun playing, and I truly love the sci-fi and RPG genre, and it's just a shame that there aren't more of them out there. That being said, guys, I hope you had a fantastic day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. You can really tell this game is Japanese. I mean, you can become a Gundam, guys. That in my book is a good enough reason to try this game out. A Gundam. What? What was that? I am a Gundam. <laughs>